Hey, it's good, good, good to see you. Tonight, I want to do a little perfume collection video because after my last perfume haul, it was requested and I thought, you know what? Not a whole lot has changed, but it's also been a while since I did one. So, without further ado, I'm going to start with my current favorite, which is, of course, Black Orchid by Tom Ford. This was a gift from my sister who was big into perfume. So, this one I typically wear on special occasions at night or like special dates and you know, things like that. New Year's, I would wear this for a special date night. It's a warm floral with notes of black orchid, black truffle, patchouli. It opens with a black truffle and then there's like a bit of bergamot and bitter orange and then also like a rum, rum, rum so Sweet black plum. Sweet black plum. Sweet black plum. Woody patchouli. And then like a creamy vanilla to add some warmth to it. And I love it. I love it. I love it. So it's just very expensive. It's the only con. So I use it sparingly. Next is this one from Lush called A Thousand Kisses Deep. A Thousand Kisses Deep. So this one I wear at night, also on dates, but not as much like special occasion type stuff. It um, reminds me of someone I was dating a little not in a bad way, like I can still wear it without, you know, it's not someone I'm caught up in, uh, but it does remind me of that time. So lately I haven't really been wearing it as much, but it's herbal and earthy. It has a creamy osmanthus blossom, which is kind of like an apricot-like note, and then this warm, earthy base of myrrh, of myrrh, 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 and also, I don't know what this is, but labdanum, 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 I don't know what that is, labdanum, labdanum, a, b, d, a, n, u, m, but that gives it a kind of sparkly, and then it's just like a light, creamy, probably woodsy thing with a little like spark of citrus. But I pick up more on the um on like the darker side of it, less on the light side of it. At least my skin does. So we had that guy. Then I will show you. This tray, by the way, is this really lovely mirrored tray I got at Urban Outfitters for like $20 or something. And I love it. It just has this brass rim here and then a mirrored surface on the bottom. Okay, so next up is Bois de Balancourt. Maison Louis Louis. I bought this at Sephora a few years back. It's a good dupe for um, Santal 33. It's a good dupe. So this is like highly, highly woody. If you don't like woody scents, don't bother. Like, don't even test it, I would say. 
Um, so, what he sent, the dominant note is cedarwood and a sandalwood accord, which is mixed with a spicy cinnamon nutmeg complex and an earthy vetiver. So, when I first moved to the city I live in currently, I just love how classic the bottle is though, just this nice simple glass. But when I first um, moved here, I wore this all the time. But a lot of people here, I don't have the money for a sun belt 33, but a lot of people here, I guess I've been doing that backwards, 33. A lot of people here I noticed wear that scent and even though this is an excellent dupe for it, I just kind of like got worn out on it a bit and it felt less unique um, and it reminds me of that time and I kind of like that it reminds me of that time like when I had first, first moved here um, and that's kind of nice so I haven't been wearing it as much lately I had gone through another bottle, a small one, and also like a travel size, not a roller, it was like a spritz, 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 spritz one. Um, I had gone through those, but this one's still pretty full. And I think uh, I'll hang on to it. Okay. Then we have two by Tokyo Milk. I like how all the different glasses sound. Um, Tokyo Milk. So, Tokyo Milk is a company by this um, person called Margot Elena. And this is from the Tokyo Milk Dark Line. It's this 85 on the side. And the dark line, as you can see here. This is an odd scent, and it's like I always go back and forth on liking it or not. I do ultimately really like it, but it's so strong when you first spray it. Like, so strong. It's kind of smoky, kind of sweet, and definitely spicy. And the main notes are crushed ginger and Thai pepper and frankincense and also vanilla orchid. I don't know why I'm super into the sounds this one in particular is making, but I am. So it comes out with a bang. It's strong. But as it dries down, it becomes less intense and it becomes warmer and there's this like kick of that Thai pepper up top that is what makes it so interesting I think and I'm always into scents that have ginger in them because I feel like it's hard to find ones that I like with ginger in them but I love ginger so um, I'll wear this one at night when I go out sometimes and just kind of like want to mix it up like if I'm going to a CD dive bar or something, or like an arcade, this is like, I haven't done these things in ages, but I would wear that perfume just to like, it's more fun, you know? It's more fun, 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 fun. Okay, the other one from Tokyo Milk is this one called Transformation. this beautiful snake on the front and I need a drink of water briefly if I can find it in the dark I can <clears throat> thank you for your patience I'm trying to put it on the floor without making too much noise okay so this one is called beautiful snake on the front with all these little lines and 
And this is from the Tokyo Milk. Light line, so they're kind of opposed in that way, but each line, like the dark and the light, has, I don't know, at least six cents, I, I think? No. The dark one has six cents, six cents, and this one has three cents. Just one, two, three. Just three cents. I got and soul, a different one for my sister, but this one I kept for this one's bright, light, floral. I don't often wear floral perfumes, so I was happy to find this one because it's, um, it is very light, and, but it suits me, so it's great for when it's summer, it's hot as balls, and I can't really get away with, like, the woodsier, spicier stuff that I so that's what I keep it around for is summer, basically. So the scents are mandarin, tuberose, amber, and earth, and white, white, white clay. And the white clay is really like what grounds it all. On the dry down, brings it together. Anything with amber, too. I'm so into it. Um, so I do quite like this one. It surprised me. Um, but I don't, you know, on a really hot day, I don't really know what I would wear if it's not that one. Alright, then we have this new one. New to me. It's new to me. And at the moment, I only have it in this little solid. Um, but I'm really thinking I'm gonna get the, what do you call it? Like liquid version as well. It's this funny green color, the solid. I don't think the liquid's that version at all. I think it's the same as this one actually, because it's also from Lush. L-U-S-H. Lush. 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 Okay, so it's the Lord, Lord of Miss Rule, which is an excellent name, is it not? And it just comes in this little, um, you know, pot. I just sprayed something else, so I won't. Uh, I sprayed Novocaine, which is thankfully already drying down, because it's like, bam. This one's gentler. Um, and I think this is, well, I'll go through, like, my tops at the end, but, like, so, it's earthy, spicy, pretty unusual. Um, it has like a musky patchouli opening, and then it's very herbal, but tempered with like a sweet and creamy side, like a creamy vanilla absolute. Creamy vanilla absolute. And also, my favorite part is like a little zing of which kind of like brightens it and lifts it and it just gives it a little kick. And I think you could wear this any time of year. I think on really hot days, again, transformation is probably better because it's lighter. But this one is like right up there with it. Good for all time of year. All time of year. All times of year. All times of year. Because also I'd rather wear this in the fall in the winter and transformation, which, you know, I don't wear many florals anyway, but then to wear a floral in winter, imagine, on me, I just don't think that floats, you know? And, um, with the solid, it's really nice, because it's a good way to test out a scent and how it reacts on your skin. Um, it's also a really good way to travel with fragrance if you're always taking carry-ons, So, I think I'll buy the other version of this shortly, uh, and I'm pretty excited about doing so because it's been a while since I really found a scent I loved. But the other scent I super love, here's what I was going to say. Right now, top three, Lord of Misrule, 
black orchid and the one I'm about to show you. Those top three are in no particular order though. They're not in order, but those are my top three. The last one is I'm kidding. This one, which I think you've probably seen before if you've been here. So it's called O oh Unknown. And it's by this little indie company called Imaginary Authors. They have this kind of concept where they make different fragrances, imagining them as books written by imaginary authors. Um, which is an alright concept, but the scents are really fun and different, I think. So this one's pretty amber, pretty woody. It has black tea, lap song, strong tincture, forest butter, cuno moss, musk balsam, sandalwood, and a mystery ingredient. So this one to me smells like my favorite bookstore like somebody on um, that perfume forum site, I think it's called Frang Frangtica, said that it smells like cedar chess with black tea and a leather bound book, which I think is right and why I'm so obsessed with it. My sister got this for me um, for I think Christmas or my birthday a year or two ago. And at first, I didn't really like it. Uh, it it was quite masculine, which I'm not opposed to, but like masculine in an unfamiliar way on me when I first sprayed it, and I couldn't just I couldn't warm up to it. But then I kept trying it because I know she has good taste, and I know she knows what I like, and I know she's really smart about perfume. And then. So this is my go-to everyday perfume at the moment. Then, oh, one more thing I wanted to say about Lord of Misrule is it reminds me of Fernet, which makes me really happy as well. Then if you saw my um, perfume, mini perfume haul video in You know I got some other imaginary author scents, all of which I really liked, um, so you can watch that video if you're interested, but what I wanted to say is that I loved Yesterday Haze, I loved Memoirs of a Trespasser, but they're on my bookshelf at the moment because they're somewhat similar in terms of like year, time of year, time of day, event type thing to oh, oh, no, oh unknown oh unknown say with me whereas this one telegramma 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 is quite different and I think will be a nice um almost gourmand type scent that I can wear in the summer so I'm, I have that out here on my tray because there's been a heat wave lately so when there was a heat wave I was going back and forth between this one and this one this one and this one so that is my current perfume collection um I'm very happy for it they all make me happy you know I spend money on like books plants perfume, sometimes clothes, but like not even really. Um, and these things just make me happy. I think I spend as much money on perfume maybe as like other people spend on makeup, but I don't know. Two more notes I wanted to make are that um, I have some Dior Addict, but I think the heat got to it, so I need to buy it again, which is why it's not on tray. And that's a really nice scent in a blue blue bottle that has orange blossom, bourbon vanilla absolute, sandalwood, and tonka bean. 
all of which are like my things, like vanilla, tonka beans, sandalwood, you have hooked me three times over, you know. And I also have at my parents' house some low ombre, low, like water, amber water, um, by Prada, which has been discontinued. And that's at my parents' house because I basically always wear it um, during Christmas. That's what it reminds me of. I've worn it every Christmas for like years and years and years. So I just keep it there for that because that's what it's meant for in my mind. And then as a little like postscript, I think it can be interesting to hear what people wore at different stages of their lives. So I'll just say... When I lived in Buenos Aires, I wore every day Si by Giorgio Armani, uh, which has black currant nectar, mandarin, orange blossom, and vanilla. It's more fruity on floral than I usually go for, but I did really love that scent. And now it reminds me of that place, so that's great. And when I would come up um, to visit the state, in the summer, often, I would wear Angel by Jerry Mugler, which is bergamot, red roots, and patchouli. It's a warm gourmand scent, but I always think it smells like a, in a good way, okay? Like a powdery sort of chocolate scent without being too sweet. It always smells like really complex chocolate. And when I was in college, I wore Romance by Ralph Lauren because my parents bought it for me as a gift. And it was a nice, simple scent that just worked. It was like very classic. I probably wouldn't have picked it out for myself, but I wasn't into perfume then. And that one has Lily, Pink Pepper, Mandarin Orange, Rose. Jasmine, and then to add a little dynamic layer, there's some musk and patchouli too. And when I was in high school, also a gift from my parents, didn't know a thing about perfume, I didn't. I wore Ralph by Ralph Lauren, Ralph, just Ralph, which they put in that blue bottle with the stripe. You might have seen it. And that has magnolia, freesia, tangerine, green apple, and also musk, and is also a fruity floral. So that's the little post script. Thank you for joining me tonight. It was really great to see you. I hope you're doing super well, and if you're not, that is okay too. I will see you very soon. Until then, good night.